What is up guys, it's your girl Daji here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe right now, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload. The queen has entered the chat and how are you guys feeling today? We're in my 31 days of horror galore. I needed to do something cutesy, okay? I ain't gonna say the other word because y'all dragging it. Need to put on a little something something, but I still got my little black nails for my little horror vibe. In today's video, I wanted to do something cutesy. We need a little a little chick flick in the horror department. So I decided in today's video, we are gonna be watching Sorority Row. So let me give you guys the specs of this. Sorority Row came out in 2009. It's a rated R film, horror of course, um, in genre. We got a 5.1 out of 10 on IMDb and <laughs> 25% of oh, Ryan Tomatoes, yo, I'm crying. In a nutshell, it's menacing, thrilling, and dark. Again, full-length reaction to this and all the movies for these 31 days and other movies on my platform, go over to Patreon. The link is in my description. Without further ado, let's hop into today's video, shall we? a really quiet party get ready to get lit and see a bunch of bitches they think they eating up this choreography bitch hey chugs give me beer DJ. excuse you first of all i don't give a f if a nigga is joking or not don't ever think that you can approach niggas like that like Give me a beer and a blowjob. <laughs> right. <laughs> people that be snatching drinks out of other people's hands, I feel like that that shit ain't even cute. That's nasty. Like, how the f did they get Carrie Fisher in this movie? Hmm. Can you guys believe that's Rumor Willis, bro? I could not believe that shit. By the way, that's who I'm channeling, okay? Are we going <laughs> they made Rumor look like um, Velma from Scooby-Doo. Seen Andy? How's before bros? This party kicks off our senior year. <laughs> First of all, I'm not surprised that she's like the HBIC in their little group. She would seem like the type. I like being your friend because it makes me multicultural without having to do anything. <laughs> That's so <laughs> <Okay. racist. laughs> That's so racist. Chugs, we're always willing to try anything new, and you don't give a damn what anyone thinks. And they have to have her, who she just toasted to, that type of girl in their friend group. That's kind of like definitely ain't like grow up like them and like all of that, but she's just that type of bitch, like. They have to have her in that friend group. Ellie, I love you because you are always there to help with homework. So she's like the nerdy, the nerdy hot girl that niggas don't really try to fuck with type shit. And they need her because like, like she just said, like we need a friend that's going to help us with the smart shit and we'll let you be around us and give you the perks of being around us, the benefits of all of that. So. we honor thee from life to death I try drinking vodka. Where's Megan? She should be here for this. Let me show you something that is sure to be a YouTube classic. Garrett? I thought Megan dumped him. Y'all ain't shit, bro. This is what y'all want to sit and watch. Come on, guys. This is gross. Oh my God. Yeah, we shouldn't be watching this. Keep Garrett a little something to put into a drink. Told him what? You your V-Sex isn't that bad. You get laid and you get a good night's sleep. That That's not funny, bro. Drugging your friends, bro, so that you can sit and watch them be taken advantage of by your brother, bro. Like, nah. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, shit, you guys, we gotta do something. Okay? Now look what y'all done did. Dude, I slipped in the pills you gave me. I said give her one, idiot. I didn't know. <laughs> Poor Ellie. No, I'm not channeling. I'm not channeling her. I'm channeling her vibes, her aura. But like, yo, like if this was real life situations right now, bro, we gotta be proactive. Like. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, let's go. Like, if we trying to save a life, like, look what the fuck y'all done did. Y'all gave her a roofie and it backfired. What? No tongue? Please. That's gross. Cheated on me. Didn't you cheat on me first? Oh. You cheat on one theta. You cheat on every theta. 
I mean, yo, y'all taking it a little too far. I think she's turning cold. Don't stay there. I took a wrong turn. I'm totally freaking out. What? <laughs> yo, they got him tripped the fuck out right now. I'm gonna call mom right now. <laughs> No, you blown cover. You blown cover. We all had a say. I'm calling the fucking cops. You guys had nothing to do with this. There's no signal. Garrett, look at me. Oh, so they took him out to a place where he definitely couldn't call no cops. Garrett, there's a blanket in the back. Get it. What's happening? I can't see. Shh. You did to me. They're taking it too far. All right, everybody spread out and find sharp rocks to dismember the body with. And the fact that she's recording this. Funny and all, but... Y'all yep. need to watch this nigga. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you see what I mean by taking it too far? <laughs> Y'all can't save her. He went straight into her chest cavity. It's clipped. <laughs> yeah, but it's filling up. <laughs> She's gone. This is why y'all shouldn't play pranks. And look at them just standing around like they not doing shit. Wait, wait, you guys. She's dead. What are we gonna do? Y'all took it too far. Y'all shouldn't have done this in the first place. When y'all got outside, y'all should have done like, she's dead. And then been like, I, 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 prank over. Like, Nah, y'all took it too far. We need to talk about this for a minute. We're all responsible, so... But Garrett did it! Yes, and Garrett will be going to jail, but... Nah, bro. Y'all cannot do that. Like, y'all the ones that... It, to, to me, this is like conspiracy or some shit. Like, that's what they all gonna say. I'm not letting my little brother go to jail for a stupid prank. No way! Oh, oh dear. you wanna leave Megan out here? Why not? I also know that Megan loved us. And Theta Pi. This bitch trying to save her ass. right in the I agree. See, my father's face when he hears all this. What would y'all do if this was y'all in this situation? I wouldn't be caught up in this situation, promise you. Swear I wouldn't. Because I don't be with bitches. In college, I was known like, yeah, I was a girl's girl. But I was like the older girl. So everybody was like coming to me at the point in time for like advice to chill. I was, you know, doing what I do. However, when it came to drama, it's either we're going to talk about this and be rational, or I'm going to f*** you up, and that's just end of discussion. And I don't be f***ing bitches' wives, because as you can see, they be on some funny-ass shit. And I've heard the horror stories, bro. I've heard them about crazy shit that bitches be doing. That's why I can't. But what would y'all have done if it was y'all in this situation? Okay, you see how Ellie, damn, she's in this whole situation. And she just wanted the perks of being, like, in a in a friend group that could give her, like, benefits. Even though they using her or whatever. She never thought she would have been in this type of situation. So I'm trying to look at it from that perspective. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I would, I would just want to do the right thing, bro. But then y'all y'all gonna end up in jail, every last one of y'all. This decision affects the rest of our lives. Oh, dude. Right. People will know. Dude, man, this is fucked. Poor Garrett. I can't believe my ears. What happened to the tenants of sisterhood? Secrecy and solidarity. Bro, what if y'all had to take, not vows, but like, I don't know what it is for sororities, fraternities, whatever. Y'all pledges or what? I don't know. What if y'all had to do shit like this, B? Like the pledges that y'all make, like that's the shit like secrecy and solidarity yo like shit go down you better shut the fuck up and you can't say shit listen to yourself all of you to live with this forever I'm trying to figure out how we're going to live with it whether it's you know dying in guilt and silence while living comfortable or behind a prison cell shall we vote please i know the truth right ellie <laughs> <laughs> rumor you got a good fucking crying face girl Say whatever the hell you want to say. Uh-oh. You're going to say what we tell you to say. Garrett, you just f***ed up right now. We have no choice. Come on, help me, Lister. Y'all definitely will go to jail now. If she walks and finds cell service, y'all better hope she don't call the cops. This is fucked up. 
bro. This is what makes me fear for having children, bro. I feel weary about this ever since knowing what I know about certain cases. I was on TikTok the other night and I was just down a rabbit hole looking at that whole case with Kanika Jenkins. You feel me? So shit like this kind of like trigger me because it's like they threw her down a ditch, bro. Like they don't give a f about her parents, her family. None of that shit, bro. For me as a parent, I would be devastated. Let's go wash the blood off in the lake and get back to the party. I would never be able to just go back to the party and act like nothing happened. Like, nah. Y'all are human beings. Well, thanks to you all. Good luck. And God bless. <laughs> How was y'all graduations? Like, y'all graduation days? It's crazy how they really have like sorority houses like this. The only sorority houses I've really been at is the ones upstate. For me, in New York, that's where I'm from. Other than that, I haven't. I've been on campus myself, lived on campus, but never like in a sorority house because I'm not part of a sorority. I've thought about it though, but no. Nah. Just, you know, connections and shit. But you see all this fuckery? Mm -hmm. Drugs. Well, you know, Chugs, she's willing to help out with a little freshman orientation. Oh, so she's sitting on freshmen. You taste like vomit. It's because I threw up before, but I ate a mint, so you're fine. Ew. You're such a trashy bitch. We have this luncheon every year that our motto, secrecy and solidarity. With I would have kept the secrecy and uh, the secrecy out of that, that shit, because you feel me? Like. It, it kind of sounds very, yeah, it's given like ominous vibes. Still one whom we cannot forget. No friggin' way. <laughs> <laughs> Not her fainting, yo. Who up and faints anymore? I, I know it was her. It was her sister, dumbass. They look r alike. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Not the tire iron. Kill him. It's a really bad joke. This is beyond sick. Are you sure? I, I don't really care if we get caught. I just don't want to share a cell with you. You could have gone to the cops if you really wanted to. Yeah, see? I hate bitches, bro. I would have hated to have to be tied to her because of this shit. Get the house to yourself the last night you spend in Theta Pi. Yeah, so she held y'all down. Make sure you don't forget me or yeah. each other. I'm sorry. It's really nice. Bro, like, just take the gift, yo. Like... Like I said, she could have been an asshole, a complete dickhead to you. Like, Jessica's just such a bitch. It's silver coated. I'm never gonna wear this. Girl. Dr. Rosenberg? She really is screwing her freaking therapist. Dr. Rosenberg. Uh, there's no reason you and I can't finish what my last patient started. He's still gonna get busy. Excuse me. You have to schedule an appointment? So the weapon of choice is the tire iron. How she didn't hear none of that? Really? Yeah, girl, you don't see the blood stain on the floor. <laughs> that shit startled the fuck out of me. Died by her actual name, Chuggin. What is gonna happen to her when she leaves this place? I don't need her to do my term papers for me anymore. Such a bitch, bro. Like I said, she only cares about who she cares about when it benefits her. I'm so glad we had separate, like, bathrooms and shit because I would not be able to deal with this communal space. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sorry. Last time I checked, this was a senior bathroom. Do I have to start checking stalls again? I wonder how big this house is, how many rooms they got. Wait, drop your towel first. If you wanted to see perfect tits, all you had to do was ask. Mm. They weren't perfect. Sorry. That probably made people like think she ate at that. Eh, not really. Yeah. But to Jessica's ass, hell yeah. Made him kill Megan as if. So now she going to have to get because she heard that information. I don't know why this scene reminds me of the roommate. That's not a horror movie, but I'll end up watching that somewhere down the line.
this is really Garrett right now. Hmm. <laughs> Not the flip phone light. She, she, she says she never got laid. Mmm. <sighs> the jacket. Yeah, that we dumped her body down a mindset. Why can't you? It's a prank. It's the only explanation. It's it has to be Garrett. We're dead. He's dead, Ellie. Well, Megan. Girl, this is no time to be throwing shades like that. What do we do? We're calling the police. No. Mm -mm. Let's get ready and go downstairs and enjoy the party. She the only one that's being sensible. But going to the cops, bro, uh, not after this time, because you definitely going to get max sentence now. Why well, she got an attitude now? There's so much grinding on your business all over yeah. Girl, you fucked him in the hot tub. Like, what? You didn't seem to mind my business today in the hot tub. Oh, D. I can catch action off any of these girls. Okay, uh dragged it. You could have just been like, yo, the situation is we had a party. We having a good time. What's the deal? Like, why you got an attitude? Well, we know what she got an attitude, but mm, misdirect. Wow, he going to try to talk to her. Me and friends broke up. She hit me. Dude, you look really pretty tonight. I wanted to tell you that. Wow. You touch me again. Or points, or points. See, she ain't always crying all the time. I'm really glad you stayed. A huge mistake not going to have come. Hmm. But you, if you would have just banded together with her, you wanted to follow Jessica. Ellie. Are you up here? He's deaf the next victim. I can admit I've been kind of a jerk, all right? Oh, you've been a perv. She has to make out. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I mean, she shows them. Oh God, Ellie's Girl, why are you screaming? Just come and be like, yo, come. <laughs> Bro, she was completely calm. Why is she screaming? I couldn't tell you about a nervous breakdown tomorrow. Her sarcastic like that really makes you sound like a bitch. Girl, you the last one that should be calling anyone a bitch. You're the class level of bitch. But if she's talking about somebody's dead, bro, you can see why she's freaked out. But she was fine when she watched it. So I don't understand why she's like, like screaming and freak. Like, it's Mickey. I would know those ugly ass shoes anywhere. <laughs> it's the same one that killed Megan. You make it sound like the tire iron killed Megan by itself. It don't look, it don't look like the same. Mickey's dead. We have to go now. Hey, girl, the girl that you just, the, the, the nigga that you just dumped. Mickey. <laughs> that we can agree on. Oh, she's driving mad crazy. Girl, what is up with you in this white dress? Is the party over already? I thought I said not to come. Why would I listen to a lying bitch like you? Sister hated you. Uh oh. <laughs> She'd have made a great Zeta. <laughs> no, she a catty ass bitch. Mm hmm. Whose blood is that on you? Blood. Yo, what is going on, Garrett? I I don't think Garrett is killing people. You made me <laughs> You know what? I ain't mad at Jessica for this shit. Kill Mickey. No, hold on. Let's take a field trip to reality for a second. Maybe the he got the same text as y'all. Well, he got the same message we did from Megan's phone. Y'all about to go down. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, fuck. How's she gonna get out of there now? I'm just trying to wonder how she gonna get the fuck up out of there. So somebody else has been down there. If Megan's not there, then... Now, how the fuck did they get her out of there? Where did everybody go? After party at- And then I'm getting my stuff, and I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, Shut now up. you wanna dip. I'm good. That shit look like a mess. Everybody dipped and got up out of there, bro. No one's here. She about to be up out of here. Out, out, out. Get okay, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Yo. You open the door. 
I would have came out them shoes real quick. She's walling. You know he used that flare gun. Oh fuck. Megan, she's gonna kill all of us. Really? Mm -mm. Of course she was sleep with her man. You mind giving us a little space? We were just kind of getting started when you pulled that bin. Uh uh. I know you fucked Megan's boyfriend. Ava, such a bitch. Which boyfriend does she fuck? It can't be Garrett. You're a bitch. <laughs> Jessica was saying that she was gonna handle that shit. When she seen her again, she is. Shh. 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 She's now. Screw this. Word. <laughs> Uh oh. I've had that coming for four years. Oh shit. See you in on this thing? No. Lie to me again. Oh, she ain't ready to shoo her shit up. Where's your phone, Ellie? I don't really know where my phone is right now. I've had a kind of a crazy day. <laughs> really? Girl, you gotta pull it together, bruh. But that, that has to do with the writing. To be honest, it's either you gonna make her a complete badass or a complete crybaby. Like, it, yo, her going back and forth is kind of throwing me off. Oh, girl. That aim is not given, boo. At this point, you just wasting shit. We can make a run for it. I want to turn around and not be able to find you. After everything we've been through? Girl, let's not, let's not act surprised as to why she's questioning your, your loyalty. Like, you've been a shady bitch this entire time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Felt like he was throwing that shit straight at me. You stay the away from my girl you still missed you have one job how you got a shotgun and you still bro oh, I have to do something she going braving up now you gonna hide in the club When I heard you calling, I, I was, I heard gunshots. No, you was cheating and you ran. You fucked her, didn't you? You I mean, fucked her! Old. I warned you, Jessica. Damn, why are all the men in this movie just complete dickheads and just disgusting? As long as, uh, right. As long as you keep your dick in your pants. Are you crazy? We don't yeah. care. We could care less at this point. People are dead. You could be next. Cassidy! Get the fuck away from him. Shit, the scaffolding. Well, good plan. You didn't take the axe with- Oh my gosh, that's the biggest fuck up that they did. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> that, that was my response. There's no way the- Oh, that's Megan. Fuck. I'm thinking about the girl that was in the shower, bro. Oh. Jeez. I'm not leaving you. Until we come up with a story. Oh my gosh, bro. This is not the time for this. It's either you're the killer or you're not. Like I said. People are dying. You could be next. Oh my god. Yep, it's him. What? With the tire iron. This is okay. Is it? We can fix this. I mean... This Everything can't be fixed, bro. See, that's her problem. She was trying to make it out of things. Worry about making it out alive, baby girl. Count on us. The, the five tenets of sister. <laughs> there goes making it out alive. These are horrible people. Sitting around circling each other's fat, drinking their lives away. That's what he's basing his kills off of. Based off of a college lifestyle. Everybody. Well, everybody that knew had to die. Don't you see? You've been attached to this forever. I feel like I'm watching an episode of you right now. Do you really want to be dealing with this for the rest of your life? I feel like this is Joe I Goldberg. The valedictorian speech. Remember? Reputation comes from the company you keep. And the company you keep? Bitches. <laughs> Heavy on the company you keep is bitches, bro. See what I mean? Are you with me? This is just not the approach he should have taken, but this... Mm -hmm. This is what I mean. This is just giving PG-13 bullshit. Even though he went on a killing spree for her. Go away from the outside. I'll take care of Ellie. 
Bro's eyes. Because he's in Pretty Little Liars, bro, all I see is just this. Like, this is written perfect for that, I guess. What? What? Okay, we gotta get out of here now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why would you lie to me? Damn. No, I would have killed him right then and there, bro. See, this is their problem. They always knock him, but they don't take care of the job. They don't finish it. Girl, you better jump over that shit. Left your sister. I'm not gonna leave you too. I'm getting goosebumps. See what I mean? What kind of guy would I be if I let you burn to death? <laughs> this is the type of game he wanna play. Well, that failed. <laughs> oh damn! Can you please help me? I try to help you. I decided to protect your girlfriends. It's the fact that his whole, his whole purpose for wanting to do this is because, I mean, yeah, they, what they did to Megan is fucked up. You feel me? All of that shit. But that's his purpose of killing. It turns out you were just the same. Sisters till the end. Farewell, asshole. Thank you. And I fell into the fire. They need to help her get out there before she fall into that shit, too. Maggie, use the curtain to wrap yourself up. Okay, Ellie. She got a backbone. Don't teach me, trust me. Where's the fire department, bro? Y'all didn't y'all been seeing this this house on fire. Cause there's no way. Slow mo. Walking a walking away as the survivor girls. I guess. On today's episode of Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> okay, so clearly there are new thetas. Oh, she joined. I would not want nothing to do with this shit. Garrett is still alive. Well, I wonder if they would have made a second one, how, how this would have went. This felt very PG-13, even though it was rated R, based off of the deaths and all of that shit. But it's just, uh, it just felt so teenage-like, but it wasn't because you got, like, maybe it's because there's a lot of teenage girls who, you know, act grown and then want to be in the college scene and all of that. I mean, you're practically a teenager still when you go to college. So it's just like, chill. Anyways. And guys, that wraps up this commentary for Sorority Row. Yeah, I felt like I was watching like a more like crazier rating of a episode of pretty little liars that's how it felt to me yo i can't even cap to you like for a slasher film i guess if it's not even a slash i don't even know what you would classify it you could say slasher vibes because of the killings but i feel like it's under tier of that bro like i don't know it started off as a prank that went bad and then the vengeance of Megan's death. It's just so many loose ends, bro. But y'all let me know in the comments, bro, how y'all felt about this movie overall if you've watched it solely by yourselves. And if you like this commentary, like up the video and also comment what you want to see soon because I've already curated the list for this month. So I've taken also suggestions from my subscribers. So again, full length reaction to this and my other movies, go over to Patreon and also my other social media links in the description down below. I enjoyed being here. Late and love till next one.